and now it's very quiet out there. There's not a lot to talk about. We've got a couple of areas, one area of interest in the central Atlantic, one coming off the coast of Africa. This first one now being given a 20% chance of developing within the next five days. It has been struggling. The atmosphere is not very unstable, which is to say thunderstorms don't grow very easily. And without thunderstorms, these systems will not develop. So the US GFS model takes a very weak system towards the islands. The European takes a slightly stronger but still weak system a little farther to the north. But even if something were to develop here, here. Going into the early part of next week, we've got this flow that is going to be driving out of the northwest and towards the southeast, which means that something would either be picked up and taken out this way to the north or picked up and taken shunted down to the south and to the west. So this is effectively a brick wall in the southeast part of the U.S. and we're just not going to see anything happen uh, as long as that is there. Now there's also this other area in Africa that now being given a 30 percent chance of developing by the National Hurricane Center. But as we look at the modeling for this, it looks like this one is going to be lifting up and it's going to be fizzling in the North Atlantic. So the Atlantic continues to be quiet and I know a lot of people are very happy about that.